All right, guys. So along with the release of LR Vegeta and Nappa, we are getting back-to-back -back EZAs, which I feel like doesn't really happen too often on Global. So I'm really excited. I mean, I have intelligence orbs up the wazoo uh, just because of last EZA, um, and then I have a lot of units to train with these intelligence, um, you know, Kai's. So this is this is gonna be. I, I like this. I like this. I like this. Now this guy is actually pretty good. I, he may. Some people might consider him underwhelming, but you know, compared to what he was before, I feel like this guy was uh, is is pretty good. So he leads super class key three and 100% to all stats, which is a very decent leader skill, especially for something like Dokkan on battlefield, right? Uh, his super attack causes immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense and raises super class allies' attack by 30% for one turn. That's what I really like about units like this, right? So if he's attacking in the first slot, which I think that's the only way this is going to activate because if he attacks in the last slot, I, don't, I think that turn where he could have buffed attack um, is gone, right? So you want him attacking in the first or at least second slot so that last unit can get that 30% buff, which, you know, I really like that. I really like that. Now, this is his passive skill. Changes SDR key spheres into intelligence key spheres, attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained, Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, STR and intelligence included, into rainbow key spheres when there's a Realm of Gods category enemy. Attacks effective against all types with seven or more key spheres obtained. Okay, let me, let me break this down for you guys, right? Let's say you took this guy into the legendary Goku, man, right? And now you're facing uh, Tech God Goku. What's going to happen when this guy comes on rotation, okay, is that you're going to change... STR into intelligence, right? So that's gonna you're, you're gonna have a good healthy amount of orbs unless like you're getting cucked with orbs, right? And then you're going to change another type into rainbow to, so it's gonna be easy to access those intelligence orbs. There's no way, no way that you can't get seven or more key spheres, right? I mean I guess if you, I guess if you get like extremely cucked, but I feel like if you're fighting a realm of gods category enemy, right? You're gonna get so much key. Um, with this orb changing, attack and defense plus 20% per per orb obtained, right? And then attacks effective against all types. This guy, again, some people think he's underwhelming, but this guy is really, really good. His links, Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. This guy, this guy is really good. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at his EZA, his EZA details, right? He is weak to the Exploding Rage category. So, if you just pulled Beerus... Congratulations, because this, this just became so much easier for you, right? But the rewards stay the same, 11 Intelligence Kai's, um, a bunch of orbs, almost enough to rainbow unit, but not exactly as you guys can see here, 5,200 of, of the small ones, 4,000 medium, and 360 large, which is, again, a very good amount. Um, 30 stones, again, this is 30 stones that you guys should please save, please, please, please save these. Um, and then, like I said, 11 Kai. So... We take a look at the missions, you get what, five more, uh, well, four actually, four more stones, so basically 34 stones in total if you were able to complete um, all of that. And the last thing I want to do here is take a look at the category for Exploding Rage. So you have Beerus, Beerus just came out, so if you pull Beerus, congratulations to you. You have Tech Broly and STR Broly, which I just realized are actually, yes, are on this category. Um, I have both of these, so that will be a pretty disgusting rotation, I'm not going to lie. Um, but then you have an LR Gohan, you have this Wrathful Broly, this Masu, uh, this uh, Beerus right here. You have Bardock, so for those of you who pulled Bardock, congratulations to you. Um, this guy just got his EZA, so if you're able to train him up, kudos to you. We got Fu on here. I might actually run him because I, I feel like I love this unit so much. Anyways, we got Rose. We got a l bunch of units who I think if you've been playing this game for any amount of time, there's a really decent chance that you have you know these units. So... Again, it is a smaller category, but a lot of these units are pretty old. So, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that someone has a copy of this Gohan right here, or you know, this Kale, right, or maybe this Frieza or this Super Saiyan Goku. Um, you know, it, it's it's uh, maybe this Beerus. Like, I feel like some people would have copies. I mean, if you bob at any of these units, that's completely on you, right? Um, but let's see. Is there anything else I should really look after, really, just in case? Metal summit. So these are the metals, of course, that you need. Um, and yeah, then nothing too crazy. That, so that is it. Let's see. In case, yeah. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to please grind this up. Thirty stones, eleven kai's, a bunch of orbs. Um, if you're if you're lacking on the orb department for some of your units, you might need to grind this up. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one.